What's up, YouTube? My name is Short, and I want to show off my implementation of uh, Conway's Game of Life in the Rust programming language. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Rust is a, pro a systems programming language being developed by Mozilla and the open source community that surrounded itself around Mozilla. Um, Rust is being designed or being built currently as a, to offer an alternative to systems programming as uh, other as opposed to programming in C++ and C. Um, as a programmer who's been programming in C++ for at least 10 years, this is very exciting for for the, the, the field. Um, as you can see here on the screen, uh, this is the Pulsar, uh, Pulsar, I guess you call it, initial state. Um, the game will loop forever between these three states. Um, I want to I wanna show you guys uh, the Rust code really quick. Um, from a high-level point of view, the, the program is very simple. I, um, I extract the command line arguments and make sure there's at least one. Uh, there's exactly one file name. Um, I wanted to try the some functional pro, uh, functional style programming that Rust office what Rust offers. Um, this is what I came up with when building this program um, to extract the first argument. Um, after I've extracted the first argument, I. Uh, I can use a Rust buffered reader to read all of the lines in a file, um, trimming all the trimming the new lines and uh, passing the contents of the file to my uh, my grid builder class, which will take the lines and construct a build a uh, grid from it. After I have the grid, or after I have the grid, I simply initialize a timer uh, that goes off and every 800 seconds in an infinite infinite loop, passing the, the previous state to create the new state and printing forever. Um, Let's take a look at the grid builder class. Um, this is the function that takes uh, the, the previous grid and will compute a new grid based on the rules of the game. I have uh, up here in these comments. I've uh, I've listed the four like main rules of the of the, the of the game that I'm uh, I implement in this function down below. Um, as you can see, like for me as a C plus plus programmer. Um, pattern matching is very expressive and new to me, and uh, it allowed me to to express the rules of the game directly in the code, almost like as I almost as well as reading them from the comment. Uh, you can see that uh, assigning the new grid, the result grid that we're going to build, uh, we iterate over all of the the cells in the previous grid that was passed into us, and we uh, create a new grid with a cell value based on these rules. Um, First, we match on whether or not the previous cell was dead or alive, and uh, and then the number of neighbors that that cell had, and to determine whether or not the the cell should be alive in the new state. As you can see, um, we're able to pattern match the number of counts inside of the pattern matched on the the cell state. Nested pa nested nested pattern matching has never been so cool. Um, anyways. I don't want to. I don't want to go through all of the code, but I'll post a link to my GitHub account. Um, I do want to show one more. Um, this one's also on uh, Wikipedia. If you Google for the co the Cosper gun, um, actually, let me recompile that with a much faster time limit. As you can see, um, it shoots a, this pattern up here will repeat forever, and it will shoot off I, I, of the bullet. That's why they call this pattern a gun. Um, I thought this was a particularly cool outcome of writing this program was watching this run. All right, well, uh, that's all for now. Uh, check out Rust. <laughs>